Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Organized by Darcy, where we take the very simple and inexpensive and make it elegant. Today, I'd like to show you the purchases I made at the Bath and Body Works at their semi-annual sale. Let's get started. My goal in going to this um, semi-annual sale was to get the Aromatherapy Relax, Lavender Cedarwood and all the other aromatherapy ones that I thought were on sale. However, none of the Aromatherapy three weeks candles were on sale. So these I had purchased a week before. They were like $10 off plus you get an additional $10 for every $40 that you spend. So I pretty much got these at half price and so I'd gotten about six of those. And of course, the ones that I purchased on the semi-annual sale, one is the White Barn Eucalyptus Mint. I really like that one. I also purchased the White Barn Vanilla Bean. And of course, I have two here of the White Barn Lemon Cello. And I have so actually I have five that I purchased at the annual sale, plus the others were from the regular sale a week or so before. So let me show you some of the other items that I purchased. Next, I got six bottles of the Aromatherapy Focus Eucalyptus Tea, the body wash. I um, think those were 50% off. I got six because that will last for a while. I really like those and of course they were 50% off and I used those so I had to get some to last for a couple of months. So that's the second set of items that I got. Next I got two bottles of the men's collection Cypress Bath and Body Works 2-in-1 hair and body wash. I got those for my husband. He doesn't really care so much for the body wash so I thought I just get him two. So those were just the two that I got for him. Next for myself, I got the brown sugar and fig um, vitamin E shower gel. So in total, I had seven shower gels for myself. I didn't know um, about the brown sugar and fig, but I thought I'd try that. And since I think those was either 75% off or 50% off, but it was worth for the price, it was worth a try. So that's another shower gel that I got. For lotions, I got a couple different ones. I got the pink cashmere. I got the sun ripened raspberry. One that says kiss dark. Another one, brown sugar body lotion. And of course, I got the butter butterfly flower and the mango, mango mandarin. So these are all the lotions that I got. And these I'll have for a long time because I've had some already, the aromatherapy ones that I still have and perhaps will have those for a long time. So I like everything ar aromatherapy. So I usually buy the aromatherapy um, ones on sale, but these I can use as well for the price. It was well worth having extra at home. So these are all the lotions that I have right now. So this is my sale from the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale for less than for a little over $100, maybe 103 or so dollars. I have these items that I'll be able to use for the next 6 or so months. So that was well worth the time spent and the money spent. I also have quite a bit of collection of some other um, Bath and Body Works candles, aromatherapy lotions, and body wash. So I'll put those in a the basket, um, these actually in a basket, and show you what the others look like in the baskets so that I have them in as well. So let's take a look at that as well. This is another tray that I have in a guest bathroom with Bath and Body Works lotions and hand soap and um, body wash. I keep these in the get one of the guest bathrooms because usually when people come, if things are out, they will use them. But if they're in a cabinet, um, of course, they will not just go through your cabinets. But if they're out outside on a little tray, then people are more apt to use that. And I like for people to have a collection or uh, a set that they can pull from and use if they like. So this is um, for one of the bathrooms here. 
This is another basket that I have in a guest bathroom, the main guest bathroom. And I'll have to redo this basket because it has just a little bit of everything. It has um, the aromatherapy um, lotions, it has toothbrush and toothpaste, um, regular soaps, um, just about anything that the guests might um, need. I find when um, they are in baskets that people are more apt to use them as opposed to in the medicine cabinet. No one is going to go into the cabinet to pull things out, but if they're out in a basket, you can say, pull whatever you need or what you like, and it's right there. They can just take it out. So I always have that on a little counter area that um, we can pull or folks can pull from to use. So that's basket number three. This is a special invitation for you to come back on Friday. I'll be doing the $5 Goodwill Challenge hosted by Hillary from Old World Home. I hope you will take the time, of course, to revisit because this is the basket I purchased and I'm going to be using it to put some of these essential items in for my main guest bathroom. So that should be interesting. Um, again, I hope you will take time to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you also for stopping by thank you also for your comments and of course don't forget to share sharing is caring and you want to share it to your favorite people thank you so much goodbye and i really look forward to seeing you on friday in our challenge and i look forward to seeing you again take care and i will see you next friday goodbye and of course Good luck.